We're back with a review of the Canadian Grand Prix. The Canadian Grand Prix is held at the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve on the Notre Dame Island in Montreal, Quebec. This was a record attendance at this race. Over 345,000 people attended for the weekend. Max Verstappen was on pole on this bright sunny day in Montreal. Max Verstappen takes the lead down to the first turn. Lewis Hamilton was able to pass Fernando Alonso and grab second place. And George Russell was in fourth at this point. For the first few laps, everybody's racing pretty clean. There's no issues up until about lap four when Fernando Alonso hits the wall. This does not bring out a yellow flag and Alonso's race is not affected. Most cars in the race are on medium tires except for five cars. Lap seven brings out the first yellow flag. Logan Sargent Williams breaks down and he's out of the race. Top five at lap 10 were Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, George Russell, and Esteban Ocon. Lap 12, George Russell hits the wall hard, and he causes a full safety car. You would think with a crash like this, his race day might have been over, but he was able to go back to the pits, they changed his tires, and they put George Russell back out there. With this incident, it caused a full safety car, so a lot of teams decided to pit Max Verstappen pits, along with Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton pits. An interesting thing that happened during this pit stop, Fernando Alonso and and Lewis Hamilton almost hit each other in the pit lane. The cars didn't actually touch, it was just a really close call. The stewards even looked at it, but they decided no penalty should be given for the incident. George Russell's pit stop was kind of lengthy. They had to make sure the car was okay before they sent it back out there. Lando Norris and Alex Albon also almost collided in the pits on lap 14. By lap 17, we're back to green flag racing. And then by lap 22, Fernando Alonso is able to pass Lewis Hamilton for second place. It was a beautiful pass by Alonso and he's able to hold on to the second place until the end of the race. Top five at the midway point of the race were Max Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Lewis Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, and Carlos Sainz. On lap 35, Nick DeVries and Kevin Magnussen almost get in contact and they get off in the runoff area when they were fighting for a place. On lap 38, Sergio Perez pits. Also, Lando Norris was given a five second penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct. On our channel, we feel that was kind of a harsh penalty for Lando. We got another round of pit stop. Carlos Sainz pits on lap 39. Lewis Hamilton pits on lap 41. And then Fernando Alonso pits on lap 42. He was complaining about losing rear grip with his rear tires graining. And after this, Max Verstappen comes into the pits on lap 43. After this round of pit stops, there's no change in the top five drivers. Also, Ferrari, who started 10th and 11th, are now in 4th and 5th place. What you could do is to help our channel is to please like and subscribe so we can bring you more racing videos and about the people in the racing world. George Russell has to retire from the race on lap 55. He has a brake problem after his accident when he hit the wall earlier in the race. With 20 to go, Fernando Alonso is 7 seconds behind Max Verstappen. On lap 64, Lando Norris is able to pass Valtteri Bottas for 9th place and more valuable points for his McLaren team. Then on lap 67, Lando Norris notices that Esteban Ocon's rear wing appears loose. It doesn't actually fall off the car, so there's no actual problem, and the race is ending. Now, Max Verstappen is able to come home and win this race. The RB19 is unmatched this year. He has a nine second lead over Fernando Alonso as he comes home to victory at the Canadian Grand Prix. Congrats to him and the Red Bull team. This is also 100 race wins for the Red Bull team. So through the years with Sebastian Vettel, Mark Webber, and now Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez, they have got many wins. And now this is a milestone that the Red Bull team has crossed. Fernando Alonso came second and Lewis Hamilton came third. Honestly, the Mercedes, they're starting to really improve since the beginning of the year. They're making constant improvements every race. Some more race notes, Alex Albon came seventh. He had a really good race. Ferrari finished fourth and fifth. For once, they did not mess up the strategy and they were able to come from 10th and 11th to fourth and fifth. Lando Norris had a five second penalty, so he would have finished eighth, but with the penalty, he finished 13th. We felt it was a harsh penalty by the stewards because they were letting the guys race all day. They weren't handing out penalties. It was pretty harsh. Great day for the Mercedes team. They've been incrementally every race improving with the Ashton Martins and the Mercedes. It looked like it was going to rain. It never rained for race day. Congratulations to all the teams, Red Bull and Mercedes and Ashton Martin. It was a really big crowd. It was an attendance record for the Montreal race. So it's the biggest crowd since the pandemic the past few years. Congrats to all the teams. If we're going to rate the race, I'm going to give this race, I'd give it about a 7.5 out of 10. It wasn't a bad race. Also, we want to thank everyone. We've crossed just recently 100 subscribers, so we want to thank everyone with all the support on the channel. Really appreciate it. More racing videos to come. We have the Aston Grand Prix, the Dutch GP video dropping tomorrow. Also, we'll be covering the Red Bull Ring next weekend. So we hope you enjoyed the video. More racing videos to come. Red Bet signing off.